New Hampshire's drought situation is about to be frozen in time. What we've been saying as this drought has progressed over the fall, uh, that, you know, kind of where we are uh, once we hit winter is sort of where we're going to have, we're, we're going to be until it warms up again in the spring. The map just released by NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is not good news, confirming that the extreme drought in southern New Hampshire and even severe conditions in the central part of the state into the mountains will persist until at least March. The drought is really affecting the groundwater system. And of course here in a cold climate, uh, the precipitation during the winter is going to be sitting on the surface. We need that in the groundwater system. Recent rains are a drop in the bucket of what's needed to soak into aquifers before things freeze. Conservation will be key. Watching shower lengths and laundry loads, especially in communities with water restrictions already in place. For areas where groundwater levels are already low, um, people are going to have to conserve their water use if they're drawing from wells or um, for uh, municipalities who are drawing from streams. A lot of winter snow could help, but not until spring. We need a good snowfall season uh, and a slower snow melt because one of the things you don't want to happen is, you know, your snow to melt kind of early or all at once. We asked if a delay in the hard freeze would help. She said the deficit is so great it wouldn't make much difference at all and points out that a warm beginning to winter could hurt the ecosystem, confusing plants that had already perhaps shut down for the season. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.